I'm Ellie from The Dark Imp, helping parents reclaim family time by playing board games together. Today I'm going to share with you three great trick-taking games. You might be familiar with the concept of trick-taking if you've played games like Whist or Knockout Whist or Contract Bridge. A lot of the standard card games use the mechanism of trick-taking. The basic concept is that you play a card from your hand. Someone leads a card from their hand and everybody else has to follow that suit. So in Knockout Whist, for example, you play a king of clubs and everyone else has to play a club if they can. The highest club at the end of the round wins the trick and then that player leads off with a fresh card. Now that's the basic concept of trick taking. So how do some modern games have a twist on this and make, make, a, make a different kind of game. Let's have a look. First of all, this is Niet. Niet is a trick-taking game with a little bit of a difference. First of all, you play in teams. So after the initial selection phase, which we're going to talk about in a minute, then you choose your team members and play in a team, a little bit like bridge. Now, the, the, the selection phase involves this board, and this is quite a clever thing. Uh, you can see at the top all these different characters. Each player is a different character. They're these sort of anamorphic, anamorphic characters, which are really rather lovely. Uh, as it goes around the table, each player takes a little token and puts it on one of these boxes on the board. That, that negates that thing from happening, that stops that choice for this round. So if a player chooses to place a token on this square, then this character is not going to be first player this turn. So you can't, you can't select exactly what will happen, but through multiple rounds that will become apparent. At each stage you can only decide what will not happen. So you're going to choose first player, or at least choose who's not first player. Choose how many cards are discarded at the beginning of the round. So one, two, uh, or um, one except ones of a value one, or you can pass left, or nothing is discarded, yet. Uh, you can also choose the trump, or at least you can choose what the trump will not be. So if you don't have any blue cards, you may choose to make sure the blue one is not a trump. And this, this game also has super trumps, cards that are super powerful, and you're going to decide what the super trump colour is here. Or indeed, if there won't be one, there may not be a super trump. And uh, uh, finally, you're going to choose how many points each trick can be worth. Now this is a bit of a game changer because if you've been planning on trying to get these tricks, you know, tr you've managed to get the trump you want and you, you think you're going to take a lot of tricks, if somebody suddenly makes each trick worth minus two points, you're going to have a difficult round to play. So when the conditions for the round have been selected, the first player, whoever it says the first player is here, will choose a team, teammates to work to play with. And then the round continues. There are some other things like sharing loot. The super trumps make an interesting thing. The ones have special powers. But the, the really nice thing about this is the selection phase at the beginning. That's Niet. Okay. Secondly, we have claim, and I've talked about this before, I think, in a, uh, a video I did about two-player games, so have a look at that. Claim um, it also has a twist on the, the standard uh, trick-taking game, because the different suits are different factions. So in this we have, oh, now I think these are, these are called dwarfs, I think. And they're all different, the artwork's lovely. They're all different on them, so each dwarf looks different and they each have a value. This one's worth zero. Uh, 
and they the dwarfs they go up to nine now you see that's dwarf number nine then we have the doppelgangers they take on the uh the suit of any other any other um faction so that's their special power goblins they're quite nice there are lots of goblins knights there are much fewer knights far fewer knights and also undead now um each of the uh each of the factions has special powers so the dwarves really come into play in the second half of the game and the um the knights are particularly useful for they always beat goblins so there's lots of different kinds of things that might happen the doppelgangers take on the on the, uh, the the suit of anyone so they they're a sort of wild card and the undead let you score cards in the first round the way that these cards work is you play over two rounds uh, so in the first half of the game you play with half of the pack you have 13 cards each and you are playing those cards to try and win cards to play in the second round and it's after the second round that you score so there's quite there's a few quite interesting twists on the trick taking the artwork's great it's a lovely two player game um, we play it a lot I can really recommend it that is plain and finally diamonds now diamonds again trick taking it has its own deck but it uses standard suits although they look slightly different so this is a diamond uh, a heart and it has clubs and spades as well they're different colors to make it to make it easier to see I think the spades are green there you go um, as well as playing tricks as normal players have their own little vault that sits in front of them on the table like that and behind the vault they're going to try and store diamonds now not diamonds on the cards but oh i'm throwing diamonds around this sort of diamonds and these diamonds are gorgeous these clear ones they're worth one point and these red ones they're worth five so you play as normal you have the option to discard some cards at the beginning of the round if the dealer lets you or the person to, I think it's the dealer the dealer lets you discard uh, or pass them on and you take some cards from the person on your right and then you play as normal the thing is if you um, if you win a trick you um, you take the cards in front of you and then at the end of the round all of the uh, all of the cards you've you've won are put into suits in front of you the player with the most of each suit gets to perform a special action here are the special actions so if you have the most diamonds you get to take a diamond from the central supply one of these diamonds and put it in your vault if you have a heart, you take a diamond from the central supply and you put it just in front of your vault, or the table in front of your vault. If you play a spade, you take it from in front of your vault and put it into your vault. And if you play a club, you take a diamond from someone else's showroom, that's the bit in front of the, the vault, into your showroom. Now these special actions don't just occur at the end of a round. They also occur during during play. So if, let's say, someone has led a diamond and everybody needs to follow diamonds, if someone doesn't have a diamond, they can throw another card in. So let's say someone's played a heart. Well, if you throw a card on that isn't of the suit followed, uh, the suit played, then you can take the special action of that suit. You can't do it if you've got a diamond. You must follow suit if you can. But if you can't follow suit, you get something that's beneficial to you. So every time you throw a different card in, you get to take that action. So you get you get uh, you get points. You, you get you get diamonds if you win tricks. Uh, if you win a lot of tricks, if you've got the most of one faction, 
but you also get diamonds if you can't win a trick, if you've got to throw something away. I like that, that's a really nice balancing, uh, score balancing act. The other thing I really like is that unless you're playing very close attention, you can't really tell what someone's got behind their, in their vault. It's all completely hidden. So at the end of the game, there's a big reveal and you go, wow, I didn't know you had three red ones. That's amazing. So that is diamonds.